Yo, what's up? I'm gonna make some jalapeno poppers. Kind of poppers, half poppers, whatever you wanna call them. Just get in here and cut around and cut these seeds out. You just wanna take some bacon and just cut it into small chunks. What I'm gonna do now is mix up our cream cheese. All right, we've got our cream cheese in the bowl. I've got this Fiesta blend cheese. I'm gonna mix it up in there with it. Get it nice and incorporated there. That bacon is almost done, so what I'm gonna do, I've got this low down and dirty, sweet and smoky rub from Hunt Chef. About that much. That's not a whole lot, but. All right, once that bacon's nice and crispy, nice and done, we're just gonna add it to our mixture. Just give it a good mix. That looks about right. Now comes the fun part. Get you a spoonful of that stuffing. Put it right in that jalapeno. Just feel it as much as you can feel it. All right, I got some chicken breasts in here cooking. They're sitting at about 150. I'm gonna crank this grill up to 425 for these jalapeno poppers. I'm gonna leave the chicken in there and let them finish. Um, they've already got enough smoke on them. They should be good. So everything should finish around the same time. It'll only take 10 to 12 minutes-ish for these jalapeno poppers. So let's put these babies on. All right, it's 1146. I'll come back out and check them at 1156 to make sure they're still doing good. I think these things are gonna be pretty good. I hope so. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see what they look like. Man, look at those babies. I'm calling them, they're done. Time to pull them off here. All right, I had to pull my chicken off here too. I'm making it for meal prep. So it was done, so I had to pull it all off at the same time. But the star of the show is these jalapeno poppers. Real quick, before we bite into one of these, I know it's gonna be hot. What we did was we took a jalapeno pepper, gutted it, took all the seeds and stuff out, mixed up some cream cheese, some Fiesta blend shredded cheese, and fried up some bacon, chopped it up, got it done, mixed it all in there in, in a mixture, threw a little bit of Camp Chef sweet and smoky rub in there, and threw it on the Master Bill 560 for 10 to 12 minutes. It took about 10 minutes and they were done at 425 and let me just tell you i've never actually had a jalapeno popper because i wasn't a real big fan of peppers for the longest time but my taste buds have changed and i absolutely love peppers sauteed and stuff like that now so these things look pretty cool these these things look pretty amazing so let's try one i know they're gonna be hard and crap The pepper is soft. You got that cream cheese mixture in there. Let's just dive right in. Cooker's reward. Whew, it's still hot. Wow. Yeah, that, that's awesome. I've never actually had them before. So that's why I wanted to make them, just to see what all the hype was about. That is killer. The peppery is a little sweet because it took all the guts out of it, so it's not hot. And man, whenever you bite into it, that explosion of the cream cheese, just, it's really creamy. I'm telling you, it feels great. It fills your whole mouth. Just that little teeny bite, it, it, that's amazing. I'll be making these again. Killer football food too. If you want a side dish or something like that, or if you just want some finger foods, these things take really no time at all to make. 
but killer little football snack for a tray or something like that. Try this out. Hope y'all liked today's video. It was just a real quick one for you. Little jalapeno poppers. Until next time. <laughs>